What's up guys, it's Pragma. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to train at Scarecrows. This may seem like a super easy thing, but I have some awesome tips for you guys, so let's go. If you don't already know, these Scarecrows can be found by finding this guy right here. His name is Jamie Drucker. You can find him by clicking the magnifying glass in the top right, and then typing in Jamie right here. As you can see, there is a Jamie Drucker at all of the major towns. There is one in Velia, Calfion, Duvin, Kroon, Grana, Altanova, Heidel, and Valencia. So if you wanna train your experience or your skill points, you can go to the Scarecrows to do that. It's completely AFK, which is awesome. Super easy, just walk up to this guy, hit shot, and then you just buy the books that you want. Remember that the book of training combats are for experience only, and the book of training skill is for skill points only. You can get a one, three, five, and ten hour increments. I'm gonna go ahead and get the five hour right here, exit out, and then go up to the scarecrow. Open up your inventory and then right click on that book. Just hit yes. If you notice, you can only get up to 99% of your current level. This means once you hit that 99%, you cannot keep using the books to train. Hit yes, press escape, and then now you just press R on the scarecrow. And there we go, that is literally it. For the next five hours, we will be training our combat experience. If you're wondering, you can train both at the same time. Let's say I wanted to train my skill points too for five hours, I could buy one of those. Get back on the Scarecrow, open our inventory, and then right click on the skill book as well. If you look at the top left, you can see both of these in these little icons right here. The skill point one has four hours and 59 minutes, we just started it, and the next one is the book of training combat. It has eight hours and 54 minutes because I popped an earlier one. So at least for the next five hours, I'll be training my skill points and my combat experience. Another thing to remember is that these book timers will keep going even if you log off for switch characters. Try to make sure that you can stay logged in the entire time that your training is going. Now let's get to the tips. Obviously buffs can really help your game out. There's a ton of buffs that you can use so I'll list the entire list down below but for now let's just cover the most important ones that I normally always have on. The first one I always have is a symbol cron mill. You can find them in the central market if you don't know already. You can get this from the central market or from an event NPC named Ellie if the event is still going on called the Oasis event. Either way it's not too expensive but the symbol cron mill can give you an extra 20% combat experience for 120 minutes. That is amazing. The next one I always make sure to have is the party spun XP elixirs. Now I don't constantly keep these on but I always use one right before I leave and I put on my hotbar down below so that whenever I walk by my computer if I'm AFK I can just hit that F4 button and boom pops another 15 minutes. It's 15% extra experience and it's not expensive at all. The reason you want to use the party over the regular one is because the combat experience is a higher rate than the regular Splendid XP. If we press escape and go into the central market if we type XP into the marketplace you're going to see four right here. These may seem like super minuscule buffs but I promise you they are worth it and they're really cheap. The third one is the book of combat. Basically this book will last you for 15 days. Throughout those 15 days, you can right click the book over and over and over. It has a cooldown of one hour, but you can refresh the rate every time you press it. And yes, you can pass it to alt. For example, I have 22 hours on the timer right now for it, but if I press it right now, it'll refresh. Now that I have this 24 hour buff on my main, I can grab this and then put it into my storage and then transfer it to an alt. Pop it on my alt and then put it to another alt. Pop it on my alt so that alt gets 24 hours and then transfer this back to my main character or another alt. This is an amazing buff. Now you can't buy these on the pearl store anymore however normally you can buy them from the marketplace basically they do come in stock and just float around once in a while so make sure you just keep an order up if you want one of those sometimes it can take a little while to get them so i always try to keep a few extra in advance the next one is the book of old moon it has 100 percent extra combat experience along with some other awesome benefits this you can buy from the pearl store which is great if you go to the pearl shop you should have no trouble finding it sometimes they offer deals on these or include them in bundles so keep an eye out for that as well but if you're free to play you can also buy one from the marketplace remember you can only place an order up for one pearl item at a time. So just make sure to have an order up for whichever item you want more. If it's a pearl item and has a little P right here, that way if you are getting your books this way, they won't ever expire. The next one is of course the value pack, which is an extra 30% combat XP. These are also in the pearl store. You can kind of consider these the subscription for BDO that you don't really have to have, but it definitely helps you out. You can also get these in the marketplace, but sometimes there is a lot of orders. I would prioritize this last if you have all the other buffs first and a lot of time to wait for this one. Again, you don't have to have this buff or any of these buffs. Just use whatever buffs you can get. The next buff is the Villa buff. It gives you an extra 10% combat XP for 180 minutes. Out of all the buffs that we're covering today, this is the only one that you will not be able to get without real life money. It's definitely worth considering though. If you only paid for one thing in the game, I would definitely pay for the tent. Just remember, you have to use the tent outside of a major city. Just go up to the tent, press the camping tool button, and then hit Villa scroll. There's different options here, but they're just different time limits for the same three different buffs. The one you're probably going to want the most is the 1.5 million one skill and experience. Make sure you always try to have that up as well. Make sure you press comma, open up your black spirit. You're going to hit exchange at the bottom here and then exchange some of your energy. You can get skill XP or combat XP. You can exchange 100 energy for an hour's worth of combat XP plus 20%. If you don't have that much energy or you already use some, you can exchange just 50. This is another reason that farming for energy points is amazingly helpful. If you're a bit newer of a player and have less than 100 energy, I would definitely prioritize getting 100 energy ASAP. So I'm going to pop this 100 energy skill XP. It's right here as you can see. It says energy combustion. Lastly, if you're real serious about getting experience on scarecrows, you can get a second set of armor. 
This will be specifically for training on scarecrows. If you look at my crystals I have right now, none of them has experience. This is my standard set of armor right now. This is what I grind with and play with all the time. But right before I come to scarecrows, I will actually switch to this armor set, which has experience crystals in it. There are cheaper options, but if you want the full benefits of as much experience as you can get, you're going to want to get the Hans. For my offhand, I have two Han Gervishes to get that extra XP. For my armor, I got two Makalas, which gives me even more XP. My helmet has the experience crystals. If you're only going to get one piece of armor to train with that scarecrows, make sure you get this. My gloves has two more Han Gervishes because you can actually get an extra effect of extra experience if you get four crystals of the same when it comes to Gervish and Makalot. Because of that effect, we actually have additional two Makalots as here as well. If we look at our equipped crystals now, we're getting an extra 1% per Gervish, an extra 1% per Makalot, an extra 10% per Magic Crystal of Infinity. If you look at the four crystal set effect for it, you can actually see you get an additional 5% XP. That's why we're using four Makalots and four Gervishes. That totals to a 9% for four Makalots and another 9% from the Gervishes. Only if it's a Hans though. If you get the regular one, you don't get that 1% for each one. You only get the 5% for the four crystal set effect. Yes, it's definitely pricier, but it's definitely worth it. And if you look here, you can see that the Gervish has the same set effect. 5% for the four crystal set effect and 1% per crystal if you get the Hans. This means in total for combat XP, at least you're getting an additional 28% just by putting this set on. Guys, thank you so much for checking out my video today. I really appreciate it. These are the most important ones that you can use repetitively. I'm going to put down below some more buffs. Be sure to check those out. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. Go follow me at twitch.tv slash it's pragma. And don't forget AFK. I mean, grind harder, baby. Let's go.